Hi, we're gonna do something a little different today, so uh, we'll talk about it at the end. See you on the other side. She stopped dead in the middle of the walkway as the daydream suddenly slipped over her. There was a man standing in the vast, empty space, the air around him flashing green then yellow, green then yellow. He stood a meter or two away, his profile to her. The man took a few steps forward and she watched something tumble from his pocket. She heard her own voice call something out, though... Her mouth did not move, and no words came from her. The man stopped and looked back at an empty space to her right. His gaze flicked to the ground, and he took a step back, bent at the waist, and picked up the fallen object. He nodded, and she watched as his mouth formed the word thanks, but again it was said with her voice. His gaze shifted to her then. Without breaking eye contact, the man turned the wallet upside down. Red water spilled from it like a fountain, forming a small puddle around the man's feet before the liquid was soaked up into the ground. The man was not smiling. They never smile in the dreaming. The daydream dissipated and she found herself leaning up against a wall people passing her by, hardly noticing a thing out of place. She gathered herself quickly, familiar enough with this unique brand of narcolepsy to briskly shake it off. Stuffing earbuds into place and keeping her eyes focused on the ground before her, she moved back into foot traffic. If she could only see the ground, she only saw the ground. A tried and true tactic she had learned to keep the madness at bay. She kept her head down and continued her way toward home, focusing only on the music playing in her ears, singing along softly with Liz Wright. She was not psychic, not a medium. She could not see the future. There were times when she would zone out suddenly in the middle of a moment and be dreaming about people she had never seen or places she had never been. Sometimes, later, she would see those people or stumble upon those places, but that, that was deja vu. Sometimes the dreaming would happen at night. They were always vivid and surreal and unsettling and she always remembered them. As inconvenient as the daydreams were, she much preferred them to the ones at night. Someone knocked into her shoulder, jostling an earbud out of place and forcing her gaze up. A man rushed past her toward a crosswalk. Something slipped from his jacket and hit the ground. Hey, dude! A voice said that was not hers. Your wallet! The man turned, and she knew his face, though she had never met him before. His eyes dipped to the wallet, and he rushed back with a hurried thanks. He picked up the fallen object and smiled, giving a casual salute to someone on her right she could not see. He stepped backward into the crosswalk without looking. The light had changed. She spun away, shoving earbuds back into place, but but she could still hear the sound of crashing, of crushing, of chaos. She was not psychic. Just kidding, this is too long. Click this thing over here and you will be led to an afterward. Do it, do it. <laughs>